Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today I'm going to do a book review on a book called Weapons of Math Destruction. That's right, math destruction, not mass destruction. And so this book deals with ethics and it's a really good read and it kind of gives a, us a perspective on the ethics and some of the things that we really don't think about whenever we're thinking about big data and focusing on the technology or data engineering or the data science portion of it, but what these models mean. So find out what I thought about the book and how you should apply it right after this. So the book we're talking about today is Weapons of Math Destruction. It's by Kathy O'Neill. It was a book that it was actually recommended to me. I read it on uh, one of my friend's blogs. So Erin Banks, she's a colleague. Uh, her, her blog, Common Denial here. Uh, she'd done a write-up on um, Strata 2017 in New York. And one of the things, I think she was in a session where it was either recommended or maybe it was in a set, even a session by Kathy O'Neill. I think it was. And so I saw that book instantly, you know, bought it on Kent, you know, bought it on my Kindle and took some time to kind of dig through it. But I wanted to share some of the things that I thought about because it's not not normally a book that I would probably pick up, right? So, you know, normally I'm going to pick up a book that's going to talk about some of the business concepts of big data or, uh, you know, interesting techno technological books or maybe some hands-on stuff. Not really thinking so much about the ethics of it because I feel like, oh, it doesn't apply to me. You know, I don't do those types of, you know procedures and functions, but I really think it's something, you know, it really opened my eyes and I think it's something that everybody should at least, you know, think about and, and do when we're creating these big systems. Really cool. She has a, Kathy, the author, she had a lot of background to be able to write this book. So she worked at, on Wall Street as a quaint. So she was back, you know, before the housing crisis that happened in the U.S. in 2008. She actually worked uh, on Wall Street there. And so she was involved in finance and really, you know, designing these they you know designing these algorithms some and other these other pieces to be able to you know make make money and you know to be able to you know make more money for her firm and for herself too and you know for for some ethical reasons ethical reasons and some just personal reasons she actually kind of got out of that and went to went along and did a couple other data science uh careers too but i thought it was just really interesting that she had she was able to paint a perspective on what was happening before 2008 and what happened after 2008 Another cool thing that uh, she really kind of digs into is she goes through some of the use cases. So when we think about the algorithms and the potential here to have bias in these algorithms, you're like, well, what is the bias? You know, what, what are we talking about? Well, she really breaks it down, talks about the college uh, application process and how there's instinctive bias into it. She actually goes back and paints the picture of how it used to be and how we, you know, how we're doing it now with algorithms to filter out you know, certain applicants and how there's bias in that. And, you know, before when it was done on a small scale, so you had your ind independent colleges that were doing this, it was still bad, but it wasn't bad on a massive scale. And so, we'll, you know, just like any mistakes that we make with big data from a technological perspective, we're able to do it, but we make those mistakes at scale. And so what about these ethical dilemmas she's saying in that you know now that we do you know now that whenever we put these biases in or if we have these ethical problems where maybe you know we just didn't think about it we're not only doing it for a small segment so it's not one college in one area of the country it's actually you know spread out everywhere because you know we're talking about doing this at scale and so college applica applications are just one but what about car loans home loans you know just a lot of different topics and a lot of things that were kind of eye-opening for it so you might not agree with a lot of the things and everything that she's going to say but it's definitely something you want to think about. So I definitely recommend this book. I think people should understand, especially data engineers, data science, scientists. I really think you should understand how these biases can be formulated and help to model against it too. Because then she puts a framework out there to start talking about how we can check for these. Because, I mean, we're humans and we're going to make mistakes, right? But the, but the thing that we can do is we can learn from those mistakes and we can create better models that don't have these biases in them or, you know, don't don't bring up these ethical problems too. So like I said, it's not a book that I really would have picked up, but I took it from a recommendation and actually really loved it. So there's a lot of use cases, a lot of talks where she kind of walks through some examples of, you know, ethical dilemmas and, you know, trouble with certain algorithms, but she also paints a picture on how to, how to perform and how to perfect those too. And so I think it's a book that everybody should read. It's like I said, it's not a technical book. It's not, it's, you know, I would say maybe somewhat a business book, but not a traditional business book, but it's definitely something that, should be taught, I think, for, you know, in all undergrad and graduate courses around ethics in big data. 
but also, you know, if you're doing your own self-education, I definitely think it's a book that's worth picking up for, for everyone. So the name of the book is Weapons of Math Destruction. It's by Kathy O'Neill. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you never miss an episode. So um, we're doing book reviews. We're doing book reviews on, you know, big data. We're also doing interviews um, with people that are involved in big data. And we're doing big data, big questions. So you never want to miss an episode. Until the next time, I'll see you folks.